right, if you are planning a walk down the aisle, you know just how quickly wedding expenses can add up. Our next guest says an easy way to keep costs down while adding some personal touches to your big day is doing it DIY. Do, do it yourself. Do it yourself. Joining me now to help kick off wedding week is wedding planner and designer Lisa Antonecchia. Lisa, so great to have you here. Thank you for having me back. Such a pleasure. So. A lot of brides are turning to DIY. Absolutely. Due to the message boards that are on the internet, a lot of brides and grooms are putting their hands to the test and doing things themselves. So it's a great way to save money, but it's also very time consuming. A hundred percent. So there are pros and cons and right. you really need to think about that before you take this on. Yeah. So what did you bring with you today? So we have three examples today. This first one is our least expensive and easiest to put together. A lot of weddings today are doing carnival themes. Yeah, this is fun. So I like this. This is completely fun. All of these products were found at the dollar store. No kidding. So this was all under $20 total. And how fun is it? People are going to love seeing this at the table. Absolutely. And we'll start with the fact that when you go to the place card table, you get your own container of popcorn, <laughs> your name and table number are flagged right on it. So as you're walking around cocktail hour, you can certainly partake in some yummy popcorn. When you get to the table, it's like having your own version of a candy bar sure. at your table. So you will pull this apart and you will eat it throughout the night. And again, this was under $20. I love that. So if you start a do-it-yourself project, um, can you hand it off to a planner or a, a designer? So that's or? a fabulous question. So what you need to know is most venues today, mm -hmm. if you are a DIY bride will not set up your DIY centerpieces oh, and wow. items for you. So it has become quite necessary to have a planner mm -hmm. who will come in the day of the wedding and do all of your well, setup for you. The bride doesn't want to get stuck doing that. The bride right? is not, and you don't want to ask your friends and family because if it's not done right, it creates a lot of tension. It's I true. Know. It's true. All right, let's move over here because this is kind of middle of the ground. This is a middle bit more ground. more expensive, but not breaking the bank. Correct. And I always get worried whenever brides and grooms do DIY with flowers. Yeah. Flowers have to be kept refrigerated mm -hmm. and they have to be done as last minute as possible. So again, if you do a DIY project with flowers, you have to be prepared for those options. So in this project, we did a uh, nautical theme. The table number is a message in a bottle, oh. and you actually have a little note of and thanks. Where would you find something like so this? So these little message in a bottles are at any craft store. Oh, okay. And then we simply put the people's names on them with their table number, so you have your own little message in a bottle to go to your table with. And then when you get there, the table number itself is also a message in a bottle with a great little thank you note. The other thing to note is candles. Most venues today do not allow real candles, so you have to spend money on LED lights, and that can, again, get kind of costly. You know what else can get costly is that what I didn't realize when I was playing the wedding, tablecloths and linens. Absolutely, and we have three different versions here. Mm -hmm. This one is a satin linen, which is going to be of the more expensive nature. Mm -hmm. This is a double linen. You have a polyester blue linen with an overlay. This combination is going to cost you over $30 a, a table. Sure. The last table that we're walking yeah. over to is a standard white polyester linen that you would see at any venue, mm -hmm. and then you're putting a table runner over it, and those can cost anywhere from seven to twenty plus dollars, again, depending on which one you select. Makes a big difference though, your tablecloth. Big difference, lots of pop. Right. We want it to pop. All right, so what do we have here? Okay, so this of all three projects is certainly going to be the most time consuming and the most expensive. Okay. We're gonna start again with our place cards. Because it's a garden theme, we actually got um, some seed packets, mm -hmm. and then we have a little wood. A little favor that we take true. away with so it. So that's now your favor and your place card holder. So it has your name on it with a little ribbon, and you can go home and plant flowers in the Adorable. name of the couple. Then we got these vases that are the glass colored ones, again at the dollar store, but you need a lot of them. Mm -hmm. This is very popular online right now, which is taking a clear glass bottle okay. and filling it with paint. Sure. This is what brides need to know. They're all doing it, but what they don't realize is you can't put water in here. You need to get a water um, um, holder that okay. goes inside before you can put the flower in there. So these are just kind of colorful placeholders. Okay. Started out like this. 
then you fix you them up with that. It with and some paint. I'm assuming you could find this wood somewhere so in the, the yard. So the wood, <laughs> great question. These wood pieces, this is where the DIY really has to know what they're doing. If you purchase these wooden pieces online, they're going to cost anywhere from $6 and up per piece. That's a so lot. That adds up. So if you have a band saw at home, you can cut them, sand them, stain them with a clear varnish so nothing comes out of them. And that's very time consuming and a lot of work. All right. Well, Lisa, where can we find some more information about you and check out your ideas? Thanks for asking. We're in Creative Concepts by Lisa, and I'm located in Hamden, Connecticut. And you can find me online at Creative Concepts by Lisa, CT.com. Very good. Thanks so much for being here and getting.